As Europe prepares to celebrate Christmas, it's also stepping up security measures. The German Chancellor has ordered a security review following Monday's attack at a holiday market in which 12 people were killed and dozens injured. The Amri case raises certain questions. Questions not only related to the act, but also to the time before that, since he came to Germany in July 2015. We will now thoroughly examine how far measures of the state need to be changed. Last month, the U.S. warned its citizens traveling to Europe of possible terror attacks during the holiday season. And apparently a number of terror plots have reportedly been foiled in just the past two weeks in the EU. For example, a week ago in Belgium, ten young men arrested for allegedly planning an attack at a Christmas carnival. In early December, six arrests made in U.K. cities. The suspects thought to have been plotting attacks at crowded shopping malls. And in France, seven people detained five days before the opening of a Christmas market in Strasbourg, also suspected of planning an assault. Meanwhile, the looming specter of terror isn't all that's affecting people's Christmas, with political correctness yet again rearing its head and getting people all hot and bothered, as Murat Gazdiev reports. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. That's offensive. Just like this fella. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Call it what you want political correctness, the war on Christmas, or religious repression. Fact is, Santa's a white, straight, Christian male and entirely out of fashion. In Slate, they have a piece uh, on .com. Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. This is the message some in Marshfield complained about because it was on a town DPW board. Starbucks deciding this year to drop the reindeer and the ornaments from these cups. What's a world saying Merry Christmas is now considered offensive? This is what we've come to. Look at this. A TV presenter in France caused uproar by wearing a cross to work. Same story with an Italian presenter. Of course, that goes both ways. This British anchor was mobbed online for daring to wear a hijab to work. It's what you wear, what you say, what you do. In our new world, expressing yourself freely is taboo. Everybody has their own beliefs and we support that too. It's great. You can believe in anything you want, so why can't we believe in, you know, Christmas? We just want to say Merry Christmas. Instead of Merry Christmas, say season's greetings. Instead of Christmas tree, say holiday tree. And it's not just speech. Hard to believe that the Christmas market in Berlin was targeted by chance. Christians have every reason to be scared. I do believe it is an attempt of the establishment to try to get people away from their traditions, from, uh, you know, religion, Christian religion, means family life, it means close-knit relationships in towns. It has to do with, with a view on society uh, that is being rejected by the elites today who want us to live in a consumer society and saying, yes, let's forget the past, let's look at the future. And the future isn't, it, it's, it's not very, it's not modern today to be Christian, it's modern to except uh, all kinds of religion in our society, uh, except, uh, uh, except the Christian religion. That's very true. Political correctness, PC culture, has permeated everything. It is no longer OK to voice any idea or belief that someone, anyone, might find offensive. Morad Gazdiev, RT.